This is Radio Nepal. I'm Dila Prasai with the news, the headlines first. Political parties submit names of elected candidates on the proportional category to election commission. Prime Minister Sherbad Udeba pleases to deliver justice to conflict survivors by addressing their demands. Two persons die and three others go missing in Calicut, a bulldozer accident. France and Morocco set the World Cup journey to the semi-final, defeating England and Portugal. And yes, warns of expanding defense partnership between Russia and Iran. Now the news in detail. The political parties have submitted the names of the elected candidates onto the proportional election system to the Election Commission. The CPN-UML has submitted the names of 12 male and 22 female candidates as the winners of the proportional electoral system of the House of Representatives. Likewise, the Nepali Congress submitted the names of three men and 29 women as the winners of the proportional election system of the House of Representatives. Similarly, the CPN Marist Center submitted the names of 12 women and two men as the winners of the proportional electoral system. The Rastriya Swatantra Party, which got 13 House of Representatives seats in the proportional election system, submitted the names of seven male and six female candidates as the winners. The Janamat Party has submitted the names of three women and two men as the winners under the proportional electoral system. Similarly, the parties also submitted the names of the winners of the proportional electoral system in the provincial assemblies to the election commission yesterday. Prime Minister Sherbadu Deuba has vowed to promptly deliver justice to conflict survivors by effectively addressing their demands. In his address to a program organized by the National Human Rights Commission on the occasion of the 74th International Human Rights Day in Kathmandu yesterday, Prime Minister Deuba said the government was cautious to dispense justice to the conflict victims and their families at the earliest. He said the government was cautiously working to swiftly address the demands of conflict survivors in light of justice. Lodging the efforts of NHRC, the Obashwad, the human rights constitutional body, to address its problems and grievances. On the occasion, NHRC chair Tapa Bahadur Magar raised the issue of justice to the survivors of armed conflict. He expressed the satisfaction on the political parties act to present the persons accused of criminal offence and involved in serious human rights violations and recommended for legal actions as the candidate in the election. Two persons died and three others went missing after a bulldozer met an accident on the Andhiri Kola cliff of Sunny Triveni rural municipality, one in Calicot yesterday. The deceased are 30-year-old Charitra Kar- Sharki and 16-year-old Yuvraz Buddha of Sani Triveni, rural municipality, one. The district police office Calicot confirmed that driver Kamal Sodhari of Acham and 19-year-old Umesh Kiri and 14-year-old Raktim Karki of Sani Triveni Rural Municipality 1 are missing after the accident. Three persons have sustained injuries in the accident. The bulldozer that fell some 80 meters off the road was returning from Fukut Karnali Hydropower Project by carrying human resources deployed there to test the condition of water in the under-construction tunnel of the project. Vice President Nanda Bahadur Poon underscored the need to leverage the natural resources of Nepal for tourism promotion and to attain prosperity. Inaugurating the 7th Mountain Festival organized by the Nepal Mountaineering Association in Pokhara yesterday on the occasion of the International Mountain Day, Vice President Poon assured that Nepal has a huge potential in mountain tourism. Citing eight of the 14 mountains above 8,000 meters, 
Vice President Poon underscored the need for optimal use of natural and cultural assets. He opined that mountain tourism could make a special contribution to the tourism sector in Nepal. Similarly, Minister for Culture, Tourism and Civil Aviation Jivan Ram Shrestha said that biodiversity is another important aspect of Nepal. Nepal Mountaineering Association's President Nimar Nuru Sherpa called for the state's attention to the development and conservation of mountain tourism. On the occasion, Vice President Poon honoured various persons in recognition of their contribution to the mountaineering sector. CPN Mavist Centre Chairman Puspakamal Dahal Prachanda says the sport is a medium to strengthen people-to-people relations in a society inaugurating the Asia Rugby under 18 at Dasrat Stadium yesterday. Chairman Dahal said that sport has a vital role in promoting the national economy and deepening fraternity at the international level. Chairman of the CPN Unified Socialist, Madhav Kumar Nepal, has said the country at present needs a point of a common consensus. Addressing a program in Bhaktapur yesterday, leader Nepal said the elected people's representatives should work with discipline and devotion. Similarly, newly elected member of the House of Representatives from Bhaktapur constituency too, Durlap Thapa, pointed out the need for forming a stable government for a political stability and prosperity in the country. The Nepal Airlines Corporation, NEC, has started groundwork for international flights from Bhairawa based Gautam Buddha International Airport. NEC has started its preparation for international flights to Malaysia and Qatar and overflying to other countries from the airport. NEC spokesperson Arjuna Khadga shared that the corporation has put forth its process to get permission for flights to Malaysia. NSC Chair Yubraza Dikari shared the NSC has placed a plan to make a flight to Malaysia and two flights to Qatar in a week. You're listening to Radio Nepal ATM English News Bulletin. We continue with the international updates now. The United States has warned of deepening defense ties between Russia and Iran and accused of Russia providing advanced military assistance to Iran, including air defense system. White House National Security Council spokesperson John Kirby cited U.S. intelligence assessments for the allegations, saying Russia was offering Iran an unprecedented level of military and technical support. The BBC coach Kirby that the assistance was transforming their relationship into a full-fledged defense partnership. Washington has previously condemned security cooperation between Iran and Russia, but on Friday described an extensive relationship involvement involving rather equipment such as helicopters and fighter jets as well as drones. Tens of thousands of supporters of Bangladesh's main opposition party have gathered in Dhaka to protest against the government led by Prime Minister Sikh Hasina and demand new elections. The protesters rallied on Saturday at the Gola Bag sports ground where the crowds chanted Sikh Hasina is a vote thief amid heightened tensions in the Bangladeshi capital. Anti-government protests have erupted across the country in recent months. Triggered by power cuts and fuel price hikes, the Prime Minister has rejected calls to stand down. Nobel laureates uh, congregated in the Swedish capital Stockholm on Saturday for the first fully in-person award ceremonies, complete with a formal banquet since the COVID-19 pandemic that curtailed event in the past two years. Five of the six Nobel Prizes are awarded in Stockholm every year after a nomination process. The Nobel Peace Prize is awarded in Oslo where separate festivities are held. The award is handed to the award is on the death anniversary of the Swedish scientist and inventor Alfred Nobel on the 10th of December. We take you to the FIFA updates now.
Morocco defeated Portugal with a one zero goal difference in the quarterfinal match under the FIFA World Cup 2022, which is underway in Qatar. With this, Morocco has entered into the semi-final of the match, taking Arab and African country to the last four in 92 years of World Cup history. Yusuf Inesri's goal in the first half of the match held on Saturday at Al Tumama Stadium took Morocco to the semi final. Morocco will play with France in the semi final match. France had defeated England with 2 1 goal difference in the match held yesterday at Al Bayat Stadium of Qatar. Now to general weather forecast for the country for today. Forecasting division says the weather is likely to be mainly fair throughout the country. Kathmandu's weather report now, maximum temperature of 20 degrees Celsius and minimum temperature of 6.5 degrees Celsius. With this news, we have come to the end of this bulletin. But before we wrap up the headlines once again. Political parties submit names of elected candidates under proportional category to election commission. Prime Minister Sher Bahadur places to deliver justice to conflict survivors by addressing their demands. Two persons die and three others go missing in Calicut bulldozer accident. France and Morocco set the World Cup journey to the semi-final, defeating England and Portugal, and U.S. warns of expanding defense partnership between Russia and Iran. Well, that's all that we have for this edition. Our next English news edition is at 2 in the afternoon. You can also listen to us online at our website, www.radionepal.gov.nb for more news and online programs. Stay tuned, stay safe, and have a good day.